As we move further into 2023, it's time to take a look at what the social media landscape is looking like. Sure, we can make guesses, but with the rate that things are changing, it's hard to say for sure. That's why we've put together this guide to help you understand how the algorithms for different platforms are changing and how that will affect your social media marketing. Welcome to Digital Marketing Central, where we bring you the latest ideas, tips, and strategies to help you in your digital marketing. Today's video is all about social media, important updates, and how you can use the algorithms instead of getting used by them. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss any updates. So what do we know? Well, it seems pretty clear that personalization and engagement are going to be even more important in the next few years. Facebook is likely to focus even more on building relationships between businesses and customers. And Instagram is likely to put even more emphasis on stories. YouTube is still a bit of a mystery, but we can expect it to focus on deepening relationships with its users. And Twitter is likely to stay pretty much the same, quirky and unique, with an algorithm that prioritizes real-time interactions. It's hard to believe that social media is already over a decade old. What started as a way for friends and family to connect has turned into an integral part of our lives. And while the basic premise has remained the same, the algorithms that run the platforms have evolved. We hope this guide helps you prepare for what's to come in social media. Understanding how personalization and engagement will be affected. The way social media algorithms are personalized and how engagement is measured is going to change drastically in 2023. Right now, social media platforms are based on a one-size-fits-all model. But in 2023, they will be more tailored to the individual, taking into account personal preferences and interests. The way platforms measure engagement will also change. Currently, likes, shares, and comments are used as indicators of engagement. But in 2023, social media platforms will use a wider range of metrics, such as how much time people spend on a platform and how often they return. This means that brands will need to work harder to create engaging content that will keep people coming back for more. It also means that individuals will need to be more selective about the social media platforms they use, since not all of them will offer the same level of personalization and engagement. One of the biggest changes we're going to see in 2023 is an increased focus on personalization. Social media platforms are using more data than ever before to tailor content and advertising to individual users. This means that the content you see on your feed will be even more tailored to your interests and preferences. Social media platforms are also using machine learning AI to better understand user behavior, which will lead to even more personalized experiences. What's in store from Facebook? Facebook is continuing to focus on personalization and engagement. They are looking to create more of a one-on-one -on -one connection with the users by providing them with more content they will be interested in. This will be done through AI and machine learning, which will personalize content for each user. Facebook is also looking to increase the use of video, which is already doing well. However, one main thing we should all keep in mind is how video-based content might get preference. Facebook has been investing heavily in video-based content in recent years, and this trend is likely to continue into 2023. Video content has been shown to generate more engagement than any other type of content, so we can expect to see more videos in our feeds. They are testing a new feature that will allow users to upload videos directly to Facebook from their phones. This will make it easier for users to share videos and will compete with YouTube. Finally, Facebook is also looking to improve its messaging capabilities. 
They are testing a new feature that will allow users to send payments through their messages. This will make it easier for users to send and receive payments and will compete with PayPal and Venmo. Explaining how Instagram Stories work. Instagram Stories are becoming increasingly important for businesses in the marketing and advertising world. But how exactly do they work? In short, Instagram Stories use a combination of algorithms to show users the content they find most interesting. They prioritize content from people and topics you already follow and engage with, such as accounts you frequent or hashtags you use. The algorithms take into account several factors such as interest, recency, relationship, and timeliness. For the main feed, the algorithm uses data from the user's past interactions such as accounts they follow, the posts they like, and the comments they make to determine what content they are most interested in, and then prioritizes showing more recent content first. The algorithm also predicts what type of story will likely get the most engagement from your followers. Instagram uses a variety of factors to determine which stories appear at the top of your story's feed. This is known as story ranking. The algorithm takes into account things like relevancy, engagement levels, likes, views, comments, account activity, how often you post stories, photos, display time, how long someone watches, views your stories, and frequency, how often someone views stories. So if you want to maximize your story visibility and reach more viewers, it's important to stay engaged with your followers and regularly post quality content. This will help the algorithm do its job and show your stories to more people. Taking a look at YouTube's algorithm. YouTube is primarily a video platform, whereas Instagram and Facebook are primarily images and text-based platforms. This means that YouTube's algorithm has to take into account different factors such as video length, production quality, and closed captions when determining what content to show to users. When it comes to YouTube, their algorithm is based on a combination of watch time, engagement, and personalization. You know when you watch one video and then YouTube starts suggesting similar ones? That's personalization in action. The key takeaways here are that the more watch time you get on your videos, the better. Engagement also helps and personalization can bring you success. To make this happen, focus on getting your viewers involved. Ask questions, use polls and surveys in your videos and encourage comments. It's also important to invest in quality content so that it stands out from the competition. If your videos are higher quality than others, people will be more likely to watch them instead of clicking away. In 2023, YouTube's algorithm is expected to continue to evolve and become even more sophisticated. It will feature a complex system that uses a combination of machine learning techniques and human review to determine which videos to show to users. Uncovering the uniqueness of Twitter's algorithm. Twitter is usually a little more complicated when it comes to its algorithm. It wasn't always that way, but the social media giant is trying to take things a bit further and customize what users see in their feeds. Essentially, Twitter looks at three main factors when deciding which posts appear in your timeline. The first factor is relevance. Is the post directly important to you? It considers attributes such as who you follow, favorite tweets, and retweeted content. The second factor is your connections. Does the content come from people close to you? This can include people that you follow and direct messages from other users. Lastly, recency. How recent was the tweet posted? It will alert you about more recent conversations than older conversations. Twitter is built around a hashtag system, which allows users to easily discover and engage with content around specific topics. The algorithm takes into account hashtags and keywords used in tweets and uses them to match the tweets with users who are most likely to be interested in them. 
This is also one of the reasons why users at times complain as to why they hardly see the tweets of some individuals they follow. Twitter's artificial intelligence is the most complicated and hard to predict as of now because you cannot foresee what Musk will change and develop, but it is sure very exciting to see because of the platform's versatility. Twitter's algorithm runs a bit deeper than other platforms as it looks at several aspects of your usage behavior, including every type of interaction and connection. Conclusion What do all of these changes mean for your social media strategy in the next few years? Well, it's going to be more important than ever to focus on personalization and engagement. Facebook is going to become even more powerful in terms of delivering content that is relevant to your audience. Instagram is going to become even more popular for sharing stories, and YouTube is going to continue to be a powerful platform for video content. Twitter is going to remain unique in its ability to deliver timely content, so you'll need to make sure you're using it to its full potential. So what are you going to do to make sure your social media strategy is future-proof?